Here we are at the first stage of pruning. This is the barrel pruner that's been through and I'll show you exactly what we're looking at. What you will have will be a few shoots left around the post here and then it's been trimmed along the top. The critical thing with the trimming and the height of the barrel pruner is to leave at least six buds on these spurs in here to give us a choice for, uh, for, for spurs when we prune it. So that's around about 250 above the cordon. So it needs to be this height with about six buds left. Once that's been through and we've cleared out around hit the post here, we will then be able to stand back and look at the structure. And we've got our four canes, one and two. And the next stage will be to thin out the spurs to, to a good spacing to give us the bud numbers we require. If you're doing this on two cordons or three cordons or four, the principle remains the same. Now we're going to look at the actual pruning of a four cordon system. The first thing we do is to look into the head because what we want to keep are two spurs or a spur each side of the head for our replacement canes next year. So I'm going to demonstrate that and I'll, you can follow me up across the cordon. So I'm going down to here and I can see that I've got a good spur site here. So I will take, create him and this one will come out. So there's my one spur on that side. And on this side, I have a spur behind here, which I will keep. So from here on in, we need to keep two longer working spurs in the head here. So we'll keep that one and we'll keep this one here and they will be fruitful. So we've got our two spurs here, our two longer working spurs, and then we work our way across the canes. That means that we take out shoots, we clean up the neck, the neck of the vine gets cleaned out, and this comes out, and this comes out. And already you can see the pattern starting to evolve. We've got a clean neck here. We're going to take this one out because this one's sitting here. And take the recce as well. We've got spur, spur, two long canes here. Then we come up to the top and we go four buds. We're looking for this gap between here. We clean every alternate one out. That one here, there. He's weak. He takes that back to two buds, four buds, four buds, and the under comes out. And then we clean up around the the post, which is what the barrel pruner cannot get, which is fine. And my post is now clear. So we've done the top cord on this side and we come back along the bottom. So we're going to keep him to four. We're going to take him out and you can start to see the pattern beginning to evolve. pretty quick. We're now going to look at the finer details of the actual pruning itself. First of all we're going to leave two spurs in the head here for replacement canes next year and we're also going to leave two longer working spurs in and around the head area here. We've seen what we do on the heads we're now going to look at what we're going to do on the arms. The critical thing is to have a good spatial gap secondary length between our spur sites. We're going to be targeting four budget spurs like this all the way along if we can but if there's a shoot that is thinner than pencil thickness, we take it back to two buds or possibly three. So in conclusion, we're looking for 10 spur sites aside or 20 spur sites per vine, which will give us 60 to 65 buds, which is the equivalent of 4K pruning.